One person has been killed and five, including two children, taken to hospital with injuries as a result of shelling of the city Gorlovka in the Donetsk People's Republic in the east of Ukraine, the press service of the DPR Emergency Ministry reported on Monday. According to the United Nations, more than 3,000 people have been killed in the armed conflict in Ukraine since the beginning of the punitive operation by the Ukrainian security forces against people of Donbas region. Over 60 German politicians and public figures urge officials to communicate with Russia. They signed a petition titled New War in Europe, Not in Our Name. The authors speak against forcing Russia out of Europe and for de-escalation of the tensions. The petition was sent to the federal government of Germany as well as members of the German parliament and major media. Russia's relations with Abkhazia and South Ossetia are relations between sovereign states that are developed based on international law principles, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told a news conference on Friday. Relations between Russia and Abkhazia, Russia and South Ossetia are relations between sovereign states and these relations are developed based on international law principles and infringe nobody's interests, Lavrov said. New agreement between Russia and Abkhazia are not related to Geneva discussions on Transcaucasia, he added. Britain's decision to open a major naval base in Bahrain despite concerns over the country's human rights records has been met with protests by opposition groups and human rights activists. Hundreds of protesters were filmed marching through the town of Sitra, a Shia opposition stronghold, calling for the removal of the British ambassador, Yane Lindsay, after the decision was announced. Activists said Bahrain's decision to largely fund the base was a reward for Britain's recent silence over the jailing of opponents to the Sunni monarchy. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.